biggest thing I think I've learned from Race 101 about learning about racing is that there's an opportunity to make a living doing what we love. We all love race cars. We like racing and we want to race. And I never really thought that I could make a career racing. It was just something I did for fun because I loved it and I worked hard to do it. And uh, meeting the people and making the connections and everything as a direct result of being in Race 101 has changed that aspect completely. You know, there's we're not all going to be NASCAR stars, but there is no reason that everybody in this room here can't do what we love for the rest of our lives and make a living racing. experience I've had so far in my racing career because when you go to the racetrack every week and you put in the effort to be there and you don't realize how much work goes behind the media side of it and the newspapers will print you if you send them something to print. I didn't know that before I came here. Now I know that and like I've had so much media, I've had so much coverage. It's it's helped me um, get rides. It, it, race 101 is the reason I got the ride in the Canadian Tire Series race because he heard of me he heard, he heard about the program, he knew another student who'd been through the program, and he felt like because of the program, I was competent enough to drive his car in that race. Kind of have to figure out what can make you good, not just follow along what other people are doing. We get to work a lot, a ton on you know that's the setup, the media. We're doing stuff on camera here. You know, uh, it's we're getting a lot of experience with this. I've all I'm always wanted to be a professional driver. Racing's what I love. That's what I want to do for a living. I'm just going to keep working hard at it until it happens. Oh man, proud of a lot of things actually. Um, proud of getting on TV, proud of uh, getting uh, in the newspaper. I mean I wish I could have, be honest, I wish I could have done more to get on, you know, like I said, TV, get on, uh, get in magazines, but um, to be honest, I'm just proud to be where I am right now. I don't think we have enough time to say everything that I've learned while I've been here. It's been a lot of stuff, you know, just things on the marketing side and the technical side. I know ten times as much about marketing and working on race cars as I did before I came into the program. Uh, that first day was really overwhelming. I didn't have any idea of what Tony was talking about the first day. And then after just listening to him and actually taking it in and just trying stuff in my own car and working on it like that, it really started to uh, progress myself as 
being able to make changes with confidence and understand what I'm doing to the car. Being able to be recognized now because of the marketing I've done is pretty, pretty cool. Before I was just the shy kid in the corner, not talking to anyone. And I started emailing the Chamber of Commerce. They got me to go to a show. And I was just talking to all the little kids, basically. And they became my fan. And then going to the track, I got more confident, giving the announcer press releases, signing autographs, and just talking to people you never thought you would talk to before. I go out the box of thinking now, if it's the setup, talking to people, getting my name out there, it's basically everything I do in racing now is different because I'm not just thinking of what that guy told me. I'm doing my own thing and it's making me better than everyone else. I learned a ton. Um, before I was at Race 101, we had hired crew chiefs and stuff, and I drove for a team. Um, I came back this year and started with my own car, and Race 101 has put me on like a different level. I've learned a lot and how to chassis, chassis tuning and shocks and everything. It's just amazing. There was a point where you know I thought I knew some. I didn't know, I didn't know nothing to what I know now because of 101. At first it was a little hard because I didn't know a lot of it, but now it comes to me pretty easy. All about like the front end of the car and how you can make the car handle better just by one little tweak. I think my main goal this year was to learn as much as I could uh, about marketing or setting up the car and uh, I think Tony has done a, an amazing job at teaching us that we could set up the car ourselves. We don't have to listen to uh, an adult that's been racing for 30 years Be just because they've been doing that. We have the knowledge now, whether it be shocks or chassis setup or, or any kind of tuning, that we know why we make adjustments, we know why we make changes and we know what those changes are going to do. I know a great deal about shocks now, especially after you know all those uh, long and kind of dry uh, shock um, lessons that we did here. I uh, got myself a shock dyno and I've been playing around a lot, asking Tony a lot of questions and I've been able to figure out a few things with my own car and, and build some shocks for other people too, which I'm pretty proud of. Another thing is like, he taught me to think outside the box and you know a part's just not a part, a part can be reworked and redesigned to make you know things better and that's always going to be the, the thing in racing is to find that next you know new part or that next new design to make your car go faster so that's what I've really learned.